Hey guys, welcome back to ATG. Today I thought we'd take a look at the OG comment section. And today that's going to be the 100th issue of Nintendo Power from 1997. And so what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to read through the letter section as I turn the pages here through the video. So let's get started the first letter is titled godzilla versus turok you're asking me what will happen over the next 100 issues after this crazy unpredictable one well n64 will probably move from the rumble pack to creating an actual simulation cockpit zero mega man x3 will probably have his own game series Gino will have his own RPG series. Link will have battled Predator and Turok will have defeated Godzilla. Nintendo will start making TVs, stereos, and Sony will go out of business. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I've been as creative as I can. Maybe the next 100 issues we can find out what's true, what's not. Keep up the good work. That's Grifter WS via the internet. Hey, 1997. Probably AOL. You've got mail. All right, the next one is Send in the Clowns. The Super NES and now the N64 are my ways of bonding with my nephews. Ben, age 7, Adam, 11, and Jake, 13. I'm 47, they live in Kansas, and I live in Indiana. My best friend, 48, previously a nun for 22 years and now a high school teacher and professional clown, Melody, and I, a crane operator and clown, Confetti, play Nintendo games all the time. Man, this is interesting. It's a great way for Melody to bond with her students and for us to bond with our young audiences when we talk to them. Today... I am known to my nephew as the Nintendo Aunt, or Aunt. You've been a great help for bridging two generations and hopefully three generations in the future. Cynthia Confetti, I'm going to butcher this last name, De Marinville, Michigan City, Indianapolis. Next one, we've got Maps and Legends. I would like to thank Marty, Papas, and the rest of the Nintendo Power staff for the Turok map layouts in Volume 95. They were a big help. Thank you, Marty, Papas. I would also like to thank those who have created other maps in past issues. DeRosset Myers in Boston, Massachusetts. The next one we've got, Reaching Out. My son Lucas, who drew this picture is autistic. Lucas is 14 years old and loves Nintendo. With autism, children become locked inside themselves through the miracle of Nintendo. We have been allowed to reach Lucas and keep him in our world. There are not enough thank yous to be said. Diane Prillamin, Scotts Valley, California. Up on the rooftop. In Player's Pulse in Volume 94, you challenged a reader to get onto the top of the castle roof in Super Mario 64 without using the cannon. Now, I'm not Mr. Coin Master, but I made it to the top without using the cannon. First, you get to the top using the cannon and get the wing cap. Then you get back on the ground and fly to the roof with the wing cap. My friends and I thought you were supposed to use wall kicks. I now know that I should look at things from each point of view before trying to do anything. Seth Meyer, Mankato, Minnesota. And they actually responded here from Nintendo Power. You're quite the resourceful gamer, Seth. Even we overlooked using the wing cap to fly up to the roof. And actually, you can use wall kicks to leap to the roof. It's a tough feat, but with some practice, you may be able to do it. Start at the tree closest to where the castle's right side connects with the green wall. Run to the green wall and jump right before you reach the slope. Triple jump up the slope, and if you land just right, you'll slide back down in the sitting position. From that, 
jump to the castle's brick wall and wall kick off of it. When you kick yourself higher up the brick wall, grab onto it and push up on the control stick to pull yourself up to the roof. This one's a royal flush. I just noticed that the castle in Super Mario 64 has no bathrooms. Where are they? That's Joseph Michael Lovenguth via the internet. We're guessing they're in the royal throne room. Salad 64. Here it is. After long hours, I have found the fantastic Nintendo salad recipe that you were asking for in volume number 5. First, take any old NES game and throw it in a blender. Grind it into a very fine pulp and put it into a bowl. Next, take large quantities of pasta and any other Italian food and boil under tender. Find the closest witch and give her a mushroom to make magic powder. Add a few Game Boys with small amounts of battery acid to a very large mixing bowl. Also, add small amounts of Kirby brand marshmallows, two Yoshi eggs, three toadstools, 120 castle stars, two crime baby penguins, one metal hat, one completed Triforce, three red shells, eight bananas, many thunderbolts and spiny shells, one peach and a gold controller, Mix with the pasta and add ranch dressing for flavoring. Please eat carefully and don't chip a tooth on a microchip. Eat large quantities of pizza and play only the N64 and the Super NES. Don't sleep for three days and... Sorry, I was describing the life of a beta tester there. Chip Wilson, Logan, Ohio. We're not just for breakfast anymore. I was watching a videotape that I recorded from a long time ago and came across something that brought back some memories. The commercial for Nintendo cereal. You know, the one that goes, Nintendo, it's for breakfast now. Nintendo, it's a cereal. Wow, Nintendo. Super Mario jumps. Nintendo, it's a fruit-flavored crunch. Ryan Nielsen via the internet. To which they respond, Nintendo cereal, Nintendo salads, what's next? Nintendo TV dinners? The big challenge. Here's an arena challenge. Can you find someone who would give their Nintendo 64 away to you? Kind of difficult, huh? That's from Jesse Coley, Amira, Arkansas. I'm so excited. I am getting an N64 tomorrow and I'm very excited. It's 11.31 p.m. and I can't sleep. I believe that many other people probably went through the same thing when they were waiting to get an N64. To help people out, I suggest you release something on how to handle the excitement. Matt Honea via the internet. We have. It's called Nintendo Power. Ah, nice. No way out. I'm 40 years old. I have been a Nintendo fan since 1986. Never regretting a single moment. I now own the NES, Super NES, and Game Boy not to mention hundreds of game cartridges. I possess every issue of your magazine dating back to the Fun Club News Volume 1, Number 2. In that issue, you mention the Minus World in Super Mario Bros. Getting into World Minus 1 is a piece of cake. Getting out of it is something I have yet to accomplish. You should include in the 100th issue the one secret left untold for the greatest video game of all time. Please, finally reveal this maneuver to us. They respond, Unfortunately, the only maneuver that will get you out of the Minus World is to hit the reset button because the area has no exit. That's probably not the present you were hoping for, but it's the thought that counts, right? Alright, and the last, last letter here is on the tube. I went to my friend's house and we started looking through the movies that he had. We popped in a tape and immediately we heard Come on, everybody, do the Mario. Let me try that again. Hold on. Come on, everybody, do the Mario. Followed by the Mario Bros music. It was the Super Mario Bros Super Show. He had about 50 episodes, and we stayed up all night watching them. I remember watching that show and Captain N when I was seven or eight. But what I forgot was that The Legend of Zelda came on every Friday on the Super Show. As I was watching this tape, I felt like I was at home again. I hope these shows air again so people who never got a chance to watch them can experience them for the first time. Sort of like the re-release of Star Wars, eh? 
All right, guys, that's going to do it uh, for the retro mail uh, here on ATG. I do have plenty of Nintendo Powers. I also have some EGMs, which I'd like to mix in with the Nintendo Powers just so we can cover other systems, other games, and things like that. So, thanks guys. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about these letters, the things that some of these guys are talking about. So, get out there guys, play some games, and don't forget to remember.